everyone, today I'm going to be doing a UK haul. Um, my mother-in-law visited um, in early November and uh, I'd done like a few orders online and had it sent to her address for her to bring over uh, when she came. So um, yeah, I'm just going to show you everything that I've got. Uh, first thing I ordered uh, ages ago, this, it feels like ages ago, must must have been over the summer sometime um, when ASOS was doing a sale for um, Wild Fox, the brand. Um, I think it was like up to 60% off or something like that. So I picked up two uh, baggy beach jumpers. Um, I've already got three. Um, I love them and I wear them loads. So uh, I thought it's worth picking up a few more. This first one really needs a wash, sorry. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Um, this one is like an off-white colour with lipsticks on it, which is suitable since I love uh, makeup and lipsticks and everything. Um, these are so comfortable. Oh, you have no idea. I I could live in these, I think, if I could only have um, one jumper for the rest of my life. <laughs> these would be the kind of jumpers I would want. Because they're they are they're casual they're not they're not like um how am i going to describe it like you know you've got like your sweatpants and stuff that you like lounge around and and like in home at home um don't know why you i do that um but you wouldn't sort of leave the house with them i i wouldn't anyway um but these are sort of nice comfortable clothes that you can actually leave the house in if that makes sense uh, the next one I got is light blue or turquoise or a mix <laughs> and it says Gossip Sucks so yeah really nice and comfortable I haven't worn this yet um, but I will now <laughs> when I've filmed this video I couldn't I couldn't like not wear both of them until I'd filmed it because it would have been too long to wait <laughs> um, I've got like all my sort of invoices here from my orders in case oh not <laughs> actually the prices don't really say on these a few of them do but not everyone so um anyway um just to make sure I'm showing everything um first off it's an order I did from Miners Cosmetics I'd used their nail polish before which I won and I really liked it and as well um, Miss Budget Beauty here on YouTube, uh, she does quite a lot of like minus, like she used quite a bit of minus uh, makeup and she, yeah it seems like she's very happy with her so I picked up a few of the things that she has mentioned. Um, first off I got these two uh, Tinno Tint um, Moisturising Lip Tint. Um, this one is vanilla and it's um, just like a milky colour really. It, for me, it mutes down my lip colour quite a bit because my lips are really red. Um, so that's handy. Uh, the next one is pink grapefruit and it's pink. Um, they give quite a bit of colour to your lips, I'd say. Um, so really good for like face when you don't really want to wear any lipstick because your lips are feeling really dry. Which my te mine tend to do pretty much all the time, <laughs> especially in the winter. The next thing I got is this lip gloss, uh, which is called the Matte Factor Lip Paint. This is sort of a, a lip gloss lipstick combination thing. It's matte, uh, gives lots of colour, but it's sort of in liquid form. <laughs> um, I got this in the colour light pink. Miss Budget Beauty talks about this one in... I don't know, in a coral shade, is it just called coral? I'm not sure. And she loves that. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm more of a, a pink lip girl myself, so I, I picked up the the pink one. Um, not too sure on this yet. I've got really dry lips, as I said, and I feel like this emphasises that uh, it might be better with a lip balm underneath. I haven't tried to use it that much either, so I'll keep, keep trying. <laughs> the last thing I got is sort of... Um, the one that Miss Budget Beauty recommended the most and it's what's it called? Uh, bronzer Blusher Blend in the colour Sun Blushed. 
Um, I hope you can see this and my lighting is just like... <laughs> um, it's got like a bronzer with a lighter, it's got blush in the middle, um, all swirled together. Um, the blush has got a bit of shimmer in it. But um, yeah, I just use this on my cheeks. I've got it on today. Um, just take my blush brush and sort of swirl it all into one and just put it on really easy. And it gives a nice sheen to your skin. Um, so I like it. I thought it was going to be more pink. I feel like it's slightly, um, I don't know, peachy, um, corally on my skin. But I don't know. I'm weird. Um, next thing. What have I got on my list? <laughs> Superdrug. So yeah, I did an order from Superdrug. Um, not too many things really. Uh, I mostly did the order because I wanted to try this. Which is their new uh, hot cloth cleanser. Uh, I used the like the other hot cloth cleanser that they do. Uh, I've even talked about it in videos. I think I really like that. Some people don't like the smell. Um, but this is a different smell. I haven't used it yet, I've smelt it, <laughs> um, and, let me see, mm, I can't describe it, it's, it's not the same scent at all, it's more like herbal, I'm guessing, uh, this one says naturally radiant, infused with plant extracts, uh, brightening hot cloth cleanser, um, comes with a muslin cloth as well, so I'm looking forward to give that a go, see how it is, um, Next thing I got was this Superdrug own brand uh, coconut oil. It says fragrance, natural skin softener for all skin types. You can use this anywhere really, can't you? Like if you got dry skin you can put, it, put this on, put it in your hair. Uh, this is solid. I haven't even opened this. Let's, see. Let's open it. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> supposed to be solid anyway, I haven't even looked at it. Yeah. I can't. Like, it's really hard. Some people say put in the microwave a little bit to like be able to scoop any, something out. Um, and then uh, like as soon as it touches your skin it'll sort of melt. Um, that's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> um, I might try and use it as a sort of a pre-shampoo um, treatment thing and stick it in my hair. Um, before I go in the shower, like leave it for a little bit, leave it for a little bit, of course. Um, I don't have the price on any of these things. Um, the the hot cloth cleanser was on offer because it's new. I think it might have been two ninety nine. Like I think it's supposed to be five ninety nine, but I think it was two ninety nine. Um, the coconut oil wasn't much either. Um, last three things. I'll I'll show you them anyway, but they're for my boyfriend. Um, he likes testing out like new hair hair products and stuff like that. So I got him uh, three of uh, Superdrug own brand one. Uh, this one is texturizing gum. This one is matte clay, and the last one is fiber putty. These were all one pound. <laughs> so um, you know, if if they're decent for a pound, then nothing's better than that. And if they're awful, then you won't feel too bad about throwing them out. Um, next on my list, I feel really like a newsreader with my papers. <laughs> uh, I did an order from Models Own when they did a 50% off their whole site um, when they reached, I don't know, a certain amount of fans on their Facebook page. So I couldn't resist 50% off. Um, mostly did nail polishes to be honest. <laughs> I did buy this pencil. Um, it says models own, doesn't really say anything, but it's in the colour neon blue. Um, won't be using this now, probably use it in the summer. Um, so, haven't really tried it either. And then for the nail polishes, I'm just going to try and show you quickly. This one is called Juicy Jewels, and um, it's got lots of silver glitter with. Um, a few coloured bits in there. I'll try and do close-ups, you'll probably see that now. <laughs> um, next one is called Bluebell and it's a blue glitter. Uh, really pretty. 
and then there's a green glitter called Emerald City um, Kawai Tusa Silver Christmas um, then there's Utopia which is sort of a nude colour with like a hint of lilac in it I would say yeah nice creamy colour then we've got um, Aqua Violet which is like a, a duochrome nail polish it's got green and purple and dark blue um, then we've got <laughs> Indian Ocean which is also duochrome um, like a lilac minty colour I don't know this is nice like layered on top of other nail polishes then we've got Pink Fizz which is again glitter in like a pinky gold colour really like this one, it's really pretty um, then there's another silver glitter called Silver Fox and I mostly bought this to put on top of the Utopia, the, the nude one this one because um, I'd seen uh, a blog post with these two and I really like the look of them last one's a real Christmas polish it's a bright red glitter and it's called Scarlet Sparkle so pretty oh can't wait to use this for Christmas um, when I got these I actually painted all my nails with different colours just because I couldn't decide which one to paint my nails with first to test them out um, just a hint, like just a little tip and uh, that is to use um, a base coat under this I couldn't be bothered, I just wanted to swatch them really quickly uh, but I ended up wearing them for a day and um, yeah, this stained my nail really badly so um, use a base coat <laughs> but they're so pretty, they're quite hard to put on the glitter ones but no one can really see if you've done a really bad job with them I just ended up blopping it on sort of I don't know, I don't know how to describe it but it ends up looking pretty so oh well that was it from Molson. lastly I've got a, quite a big order from Boots um, first off is this um, two-in-one tweezer from Bourgeois uh, this is to help you put on false lashes it's got like a, a, a grip thing um, that makes it easier I suppose to, um, to put false lashes on and, and the end of the um, well, sorry I'm stressing on the other end there is like a pushy thing that can help you push the lashes onto your eye yeah, I haven't tried them that's why I can't really talk about them much um, next one I'm really excited about I've got another Maybelline colour tattoo uh, I mentioned my permanent taupe one in my um, October favourites and since I managed to get that working for me after a bit of trouble I thought I would get a new one and this one is new as well to the UK I think or well newer than the other ones and it's called Pink Gold it's really pretty, really really pretty and I've used this so much uh, the whole of November I've used this pretty much I've got it on today, I don't know if you can see that I've uh, got other eyeshadows on top anyway, but they're really good for a base. Um, next things, I'll, I'll show you, <laughs> because I bought them for my mum. Uh, she wanted a few bits as well. Uh, she wanted a pair of Impress nails. These are in a really dark, um, dark burgundy colour, and they're called Rated R. Um, she's used these before and she really likes uh, them, so uh, she wanted a new pair. And I also got her two boxes of the, um, which is called the Colour Remover, um, and this is by Scott Cornwall, I believe. Yeah, um, it says safely removes all types of artificial colour pigments, ultra kind. Um, she used the, the other Scott Cornwall one, the colour before, and had good results with that, but. Uh, one box wasn't really enough so she wanted to try it with two boxes this time uh, and try the new the new I don't know new wine <laughs> um, 
I picked up uh, another Bourjois Magic Nail Polish Remover because I love it. I picked up quite a few of these, I've given them to my friends and they all love it. So if you don't have one of these, really go get one. You won't regret, regret it. Um, let me see what we've got here. This one is one of my favourite purchases and it's the Remington Pearl Pro Curl. This is just the box, I will show you the actual thing. Um, oh, got it all a really long uh, cable comes with like one of these that you can put it in after you've used it and um, it's yeah a curling wand um, quite a big one uh, I've been wanting one to make sort of loose waves as opposed to curls because my hair takes curls um, really well so like even if I use my um my GHDs and use those it, the curls get quite tight and I just wanted like loose waves I used I've used a uh, two do my hair today so you can see sort of the results that you can expect and yeah um, it's perfect um, oh, I forgot to talk about prices again now of stuff I'm really bad I'll, I'll, I'll link everything below so you can check that out if you want but the, the Remington uh, curling one was um, let me see I think it's supposed to be £27.99 but it was on offer for, was it £22.99? Yeah, I think it was £5 off. Uh, also when I ordered there was like an event um, giving you like triple points or something which is good. Get yourself a beauty card, they're really good. Is it called beauty card? No, boots card. Advantage card. That's what it's called. Yeah. Um, lastly, some things from Soap and Glory. Um, Got this small decor pencil in brown, really like it. I will probably get one of these in black uh, as well. Um, I just picked up brown now because I've got loads of black ones. <laughs> don't really need any more, so I thought brown one. Don't have too many browns, so I'll try it. And I really like it. These are compared to the Urban Decay 24-7 um, hay pencils. I haven't tried that, so I can't compare them, but a lot of people do do compare the two and that one is only five pounds so that's good um next from soap and glory i got these little um bottles of shower gel because i wanted to try them this one is clean girls um body wash and this was this one is clean on me this is the one that smells like the, the soap and glory scent <laughs> which is really nice, I really like that. Um, so looking forward to trying those. And then I got this one, which is a uh, new one, I believe. <laughs> this is called Whipped Clean Luxe Cream Wash Shower Butter. This is like a really thick um, shower butter. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, it's like a body lotion, a really thick body lotion but it moisturises your skin while you're um, in the shower so it's really 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 good um, I use mine with a um, oh, what's it called? it's like a scrubbing cloth thing long one I need to talk about that in a video because it's really good um, and now I can't remember what it's called anyways that makes it lather up so much better than just using it with your hands so um, really recommend that um, that was eight pounds. Um, lastly, I'll just show you quickly a few bits of, and bobs that I've won in competitions that's been sent to my mother-in-law. Firstly, a Revlon Color Stay Nail Varnish in Provence, like a lilac color, which is really nice. And this line has got lots of good reviews, so. Uh, Good, good. <laughs> Happy to kill her. Um, also got a Jürgen's Cocoa Butter Body Lotion, which is always good to have. Um, got a shampoo and conditioner from Redken. Um, time Resist line. Um, this is for like age weakened hair, so um, I'll probably give these to my mum. Another shampoo and a hair mask from L'Oreal Professionals. Um, 
this is like the nature range which is um, no parabens and no silicones yeah I don't know much more about these I haven't really looked at them that much uh, they'll just go in my um, big cupboard of shampoos and conditioners and body lotions and shower gels that I've already got because I like buying them and yeah so these are the ones and then lastly um, these from L'Oreal as well um, this one is natural less um, thermo smoothing milk for natural control which I'm guessing is like a heat protecting cream thing and this one is iron finish thermo activated cream so I don't really know the difference I should probably look it up <laughs> that is it sorry I'm rambling oh my god this love video over 20 minutes that is bad okay I hope you enjoyed my ginormous haul and please subscribe and thank you for watching if you're still um, watching this after all this time then um, yeah let me know in the comments if you managed to finish it <laughs> so uh, yeah I will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye bye I got this set from Taylor Swift uh, and it's the one that struck perfume. This comes with a 30ml bottle.